Hi guys, today we will be talking about how to meet your spouse online. <laughs> yes, it's real. Me and Max, we met three years ago and we started to live together after one month because we felt like we were soulmates. So today I'll share with you the secret, what I did in order to find my perfect match. You know, Max bought Prime subscription if you don't know how Prime accounts work. So basically, people there they don't swipe and they don't match or somehow like that but they just you know see all the girls who like them and then they select and then they just write message if he likes her he will talk to her so prime accounts they're different but you have to pay for them approximately 25 or 40 dollars per month but if you think that you want to find a husband <laughs> go for it so what i did you know i like all these online things just because you can ask all the stuff uh, the person online and you don't have to go for one hour or two hours and waste your time there talking to a person who later on you will discover that you don't like him so when you sit at home you can text him and you can ask him absolutely everything what do you like to do in your free time what do you do for a living what's your opinion about this and that so you can see if this person matches your requirements for me, it was very important that the person would pay the bills in the restaurant, that he would pick me up, that he would take care of me. First of all, you have to remember quantity, not quality, quantity. Before I met Max, I talked to 120 guys. You know what I was doing? <laughs> you will say that I'm a bad girl, but I was doing that. So I was swiping all the guys who I liked by the picture. I was not reading their profiles but I was swiping everybody right so I could spend one hour in the evening swiping 200 guys on the right so it would be a match if you don't know where if you swipe to the left it means you don't like the person if you swipe to the right so it means that you like the person so I was swiping 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 and then those guys also swiped right on me and we became a match so I wake up in the morning and I see, okay, I have 40 messages. <laughs> and I was like, let's see their profiles. So I was going through their profiles and if the person didn't write anything on his profile, then I'm like, okay, I don't wanna waste my time. He thinks that it's too boring or he doesn't want to spend his time to fill up his profile. It's kind of disrespect. In my profile, I had everything, like literally everything. The most important was that I would click with the person, that I would feel that I feel comfortable with this person. I can laugh, I can say whatever I think, that he would not judge me. For me, this type of things, they were very important. But I know that for some girls, the appearance of the guy is very important. So guys, fill up your profiles. And girls also do the same. So, you know, when those 40 guys replied to me next morning, I was checking their profiles and if I liked, I was texting to a guy. But then sometimes you feel like, mm, conversation is boring. Guys, don't be boring. Try to learn some jokes, try to learn how to flirt with the girl. And then I'm like, oh, it's boring. Okay, I don't want to talk to that person. But I never I matched a person. Okay, I did some mistakes before. <laughs> so what's happened with me? I was swiping right and then I didn't like the person. I unmatched him and after six months, I'm again swiping, swiping, swiping. <laughs> and match boom and after that i'm like talking to a guy and he was like you talked to me six months ago and then you unmatched me and i'm like oops and i was like okay this time i'm not gonna unmatch you in order not to get into the same situation <laughs> but it was very funny girls remember don't unmatch just let the chat stay in that application it will go down and you will not see that chat room i never liked the guys who were super persistent and i'm like mm. seems that he is desperate and you don't want to talk to him just because you know you will reply to him one message and he will send you tons of messages but you're telling him oh you know i'm busy 
and he's like okay she grabbed the phone to reply to me in this second so i have to reply her back no it doesn't work like that <laughs> if the girl replies after five or seven hours and she says that she was busy believe me she was not busy she just didn't like it you have to face it we were all there so it's okay but you know when the guy was telling me oh you know i was so busy i couldn't text you for three days and i'm like you know when you sit on the toilet you have time to send me a message so don't tell me that i'm not buying it dress to impress what do you think about that before when i was starting my long path i was always coming to a date wearing everything so fancy high heels nice makeup and then all the guys were chasing me and imagine i go on a date and then i don't like the guy and i'm that person who cannot say you know i don't like you you're boring i was like hmm, okay maybe we'll see each other but inside my brain i knew that we would never meet so I realized that I shouldn't do that. So on the very first date, I was always coming dressed simple, like t-shirt, some jeans, sometimes high heels if I was in the mood, but nothing too crazy and nothing too fancy like before, bright makeup, high heels, dress, etc. So after that, I said, that's it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna dress to impress on the second date but not on the first date. And when I was coming on the second date, I was like dressed to impress. <laughs> then the guy was like, oh my God, wow. And then that's it. I knew that he gonna fall in love with me. But it is different for everybody. Maybe some girls, they want attention, so they will be coming to first date dressed to impress any guy. They just want attention. But for me, you know, my self-esteem was okay. I don't need, you know, all these praises, but it was okay, it was pleasant, uh, but it's not like I'm gonna die for it. Picking up a girl from her house. Guys, if she is Eastern European, she wants you to pick her up. Full stop, period. Yes, we are like that, but if the girl is American or any other nationality, some girls, they don't like to be picked up. And at some point they can say, what? I have a car, I can drive there by myself. <laughs> but for us, it's not understandable. So I hated when the guy was telling me, oh, let's meet in that bar, let's meet in that restaurant. I'm like, okay, come and pick me up. And the guy was like, okay, I'll pick you up. <laughs> Because I understand it's not an American culture to go and pick up the girl and drive her to a restaurant and after that drive her back home. But for us, it's very important. If you're a guy, take her to a nice restaurant. It shouldn't be a very expensive restaurant, but some nice restaurant where you're gonna have dinner and you can have pleasant conversation in a nice atmosphere. Boom. Mm. I didn't like when the guys were inviting me to meet in a bar. I felt like, what? Am I alcohol addicted or what? Why do you invite me to a bar? Split the bill or not? With Eastern European, definitely not. You have to pay for it if you're a guy. If you're going with American, I know that for them it's okay. But for a Ukrainian girl, it will be an assault. You know, there was one funny thing which was written on my profile. I know that in the USA it's absolutely normal to go on a date and then have sex, but for Eastern Europeans it's not normal, it's abnormal. So I wrote in my profile, I am not interested to go to your house to see your organic garden. We have our own organic garden, <laughs> I can look at it in my house. but. Another thing, I'm not interested to go to your house to see your puppy. I don't wanna see where you live and how you live on a very first date. So if you tell that to Eastern European girl, she'll be, whoa, I'm not gonna see this guy anymore, ever. Block, unfriend, unmatch. <laughs> yes, we are like that. 
it was my story how to get acquainted with the person and fall in love and get married but i know that all the bloggers have different opinions about meeting somebody online i know a blogger who met her first husband and the second husband online and she was using completely different strategy she was telling to a guy i want to talk to you on the phone call me right now for me when the guy was asking my phone number and he wanted to call me and i'm like mm -mm, mm -mm. And he was like, okay, but it will be much easier for us to text each other if uh, we meet and we will be planning to go somewhere. And I'm like, mm -mm. I was like, we can talk here or I can give you my social media. You can send me a message there, but I'm not gonna give you my phone number. Who knows, maybe he is a maniac. <laughs> I did one thing which Eastern Europeans will never understand and they will not support this idea, but I did that. So I was asking a guy to meet me for coffee even before he says that, just because I wanted to know him if we match or not. Coffee, you don't have any obligations. You can drink coffee within 10, 15 minutes, but you will understand if you're clicking with the person or not. But I know that uh, Europeans, Russians, Ukrainians, they will never ever say to a guy, let's go on a date. I did that. <laughs> I was lucky enough to meet Max. If you like this video, don't forget to give me likes, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to press the bell and write in the comment section if you met somebody online or you already got married. I will be really happy to hear your story.